why in this difficult time the good people at Sendwave have come up with a wonderful way to bring relief to their Nigerian customers. They have announced a new cash bonus promotion. For a limited time, Sendwave is offering an instant automatic cash bonus for all transfers to Nigeria over $50 or 50 euro or 50 pounds. Offer is for Nigeria only. No promo code or extra effort needed. Here is how it works. First, you must update your app to the latest version of Sendwave to benefit from this offer. Then simply enter the amount you want to send and Sendwave we add at least 4.5% cash bonus to your transfer. For example, if you send $100, you receive SendWave standard rate of 38,200 Naira plus an additional 1,800 Naira. Yes! You can check how much of the bonus you will get on the confirmed transaction screen. That is where you enter your password when you're sending the money. Um, and for those of you not yet using SendWave, come close. Listen to me. What have you been waiting for? Download SendWave and use the promo code DOCTOR and you'll be on your way to a quick, safe, reliable, fee-free money transfer. They will even dash you $5 or €5 Euro or, or, or five, five pounds for, for using DOCTOR. Thank you. Yes, we are at that point again. We have a lame doc president in Asorok. Lamb, as in lamb. <laughs> doc, as in shh, doc. We have the political class pushing everyone and everything around to accumulate wealth, weapons, and worms in preparation for the upcoming war of 2023. Yes, we have the masses doing just three things. One, they are busy distracting themselves from their plight by watching Big Brother Niger and European soccer. Two, they put all their hopes in Beth Niger, prosperity preachers, merchants of get-rich-quick schemes, and juju priests who make money portions. Number three, they are waiting for an opportunity to do the same thing that they see politicians in Abuja, at their state capitals, and at their local government areas do every day, which is steal the commonwealth. At a time like this, we also hear from forgotten politicians that we thought we are long dead. Welcome to Urgent Care, where we treat matters too urgent to wait for tomorrow. I am Dr. Damages. A former governor of Enugu State, a man who was twice elected Secretary General of the Great People's Democratic Party, PDP. A man who was a former national chairman of the PDP. Now, don't forget, PDP, a party that was supposed to rule Nigeria for 60 straight years. A party that was about to turn Nigeria into another Dubai. And then, that bad man, Muhammad uh, Obama bin Kenya, aborted the plan. So sad. I'm talking of a man who received the national honor, commander of the Niger, Khan. Yep, he is a Khan man. The honor, Khan, came after the government dropped charges leveled against him by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, in connection with a multi-billion naira corruption scandal related to the National Identity Card Scheme. Oh, yeah? Those are the good old days. Cha 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 cha. They all have one of such in, uh, in, in their bags. You know, it is either corn or G corn. And then the scandal. It is always present in their winning resume. If you doubt me, check Rotimi Amwechi. Check Adam Oshomole. Check uh, Mo Maozo uh, Bambaginda. Check Godswila Abio. Check Odio Zokalo. Those yet to get corn or G corn are given the national leader title like uh, Bola Tinubu. Anyway, the man of the moment is Dr. Okwesile Zemwodo. In an interview with Vanga newspaper, Dr. Mwodo vowed to enter any bush, carry any weapon, and sacrifice all his wealth to join Namdekano 
in the fight for Biafra if and only if the Southeast does not produce the president of Nigeria in 2023. Yes. Hold on. Sorry. I, 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 hold on. My, my producers just corrected me. The man, oh, okay, okay. The man did not say he will join Nam the Kano in the bush or fight for Biafra. No, 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 no. He said that Nibo will join Nam the Kano to fight for Biafra. Oh, oh. There's a lot of difference between, between the two. The first one will have been a simple, you know, simple fact. Modo, sacrificing everything he has to follow Nan De Kano in the fight for Biafra. Simple. The letter is just a wishful thinking <laughs> of an old man trying to regain relevance in Nigerian politics. A man used and dumped by his friends, political friends washed up by the roadside and completely forgotten by history and overtaken by events. Dr. Kwesile Zemwodo used the magic word marginalization, fairness, equity, and national unity. Who can fold those wonderful words? Who? They work all the time on the masses. But these words are just code words. They simply say, I, Dr. Kwesile Zemwodo, have been left out. I am not part of the people sharing the national cake at this moment. I want to return to the table and partake in sharing the cake. That's what they mean. It is true. None of those politicians remember uh, marginalization, fairness, equity, and national unity when they are at the table chopping. They don't remember it. Since Tinubu started chopping from Lagos state government, yeah. He hasn't talked about national conference or restructuring. No. Even when he is the national leader of the political party that controls Nigeria, he doesn't talk about those things. If you want Tinubu to start screaming about restructuring and national conference again, take his mouth out of the breast of Lagos state government. Oh, yeah. Now, Mudo said in the interview that anybody who loves Nigeria and wishes Nigeria well, should support Igbo presidency in 2023. <laughs> then the real truth skipped out of his mouth. He said, if Nigeria tells the elite from Southeast that they will be treated as second class citizens in Nigeria and that they can never be president, almost all of them will go with Kano to fight for Biafra. Unquote. That is it. It is all about the elite. Not about you and me. The masses can be treated as second class citizens anytime, anywhere, and by anybody. Modo doesn't care. But how dare you treat an elite like Modo as such? Modo was substituting the interest of Modo with the interest of the Southeast. You know what I mean? I guess they don't really see us, you know? They are the kings, the queens, the bishops, the knights, and we are just the pawns on their chessboard. That's it. All politicians from all the regions of Nigeria do the same thing. In fact, all over Africa, they apply the same trick, and the masses always, always fall for it. Here is the truth. Anybody who loves Nigeria and wishes Nigeria well should reject Igbo presidency in 2023. Those seriously interested, those seriously interested in what afflicts Nigeria should take the country to a lab for a comprehensive blood work. Oh, plus urine test. And then, without getting home, go straight to an operating room for major surgeries. An Igbo presidency will only extend the years of Nigeria as a failed nation. It will guarantee Nigeria another four years or maybe eight years of either of these two options. A government of a fool surrounded by idiots or a government of an idiot surrounded by fools. It is what we have always had for the last 50 years. Ah, Africa, who did this to us? Who did this to us?